I'm down here at 120 Main Street today to do a little HBO, help a brother out. We're gonna be doing some air sealing on this house. And that's a really important thing to do before the insulation goes in so that your building envelope works properly. That's pretty important. Your insulation, you want it to work right, but it doesn't if you have air infiltration, okay? Air infiltration into insulation basically makes it not work. A lot of people don't know that. So we're gonna show you what we're doing. So I already did Jamie a favor and went shopping at Home Depot for some supplies for today. And uh, that was fun. Let's roll some of that footage and get inside. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? I thought we were going shopping. We are. You want me to drive you, don't you? <laughs> You're kill me. Very nice though, look at that thing. Yeah. I knew this was gonna happen. Let's go. Alice! Oh. Boom, there it is. We're going with Loctite, tight foam because of its premium durability. Hey, we want this house to last another 130 years. You're not buckled, bro. Oh, buckle man. up. I go into the store with one of my kids. Buckle up! <laughs> In case you haven't been following the project down here, this is a 100 plus year old house that Jamie has been rehabbing in his spare time for the last year. He plans on owning it for his lifetime and renting it as an Airbnb. So he's very concerned about the insulation being done right. So this thing doesn't cost him a ton of money throughout his life and energy costs. If you want to see how common heat loss is through a normal house, check out my video where I inspect my own house for heat loss with a thermal camera. So there's a reason we haven't been doing videos down here and it's because the outside is pretty much done and they've been here on the inside doing this stuff, mechanical, wiring, uh, and HVAC up there. So we haven't been here in a while, but it's time to get ready for insulation. You ready to get this place buttoned up? Heck yeah, I am. All right, here, you gotta shake it for 30 seconds though. All right, shake for 30 seconds. Hey, bud, you shake that for me 30 seconds. Got it. Hey, nice. buddy, No man the totem pole. Now there are a few really important places where you would want to spray foam with something like this before your insulators come in to make sure that it got done correctly. One really great place is behind an electrical box like this. There's about three quarters of an inch behind here and I guarantee somebody putting fiberglass in here is not gonna stuff fiberglass behind this box. You're gonna have a void that will let a lot of cold air in and you're already compromised here where the box is because you can't insulate the inside of the box. Ooh, that's nice. This is a super easy thing that anybody can do that will make a big difference in your overall envelope. Another good one right there. Yeah, so there's a hole right there that goes straight to the outside and that would definitely let some air in. Let's take care of it. Problem solved. You know, there's another one. Anywhere you can see daylight coming through is a pretty obvious spot. <laughs> What's up? What is that? What are you guys playing with? Foam. Like real foam? Spray foam. Another major place you can look for gaps is where there's a porch roof and a porch ceiling on the outside. That space between the porch roof and ceiling has no siding and sometimes doesn't get as much attention and it may have gaps and we've got one up here. Here's a pretty extreme spot right here. Since this is a remodel, it's kind of like old stuff cobbled with new stuff. And anyway, that is in an attic space outside as well between a porch ceiling and a porch roof. And uh, <laughs> I see daylight all day right there. Hey, hey, pretty nice job, Jay. Not bad for the new guy. We're doing our thing here and I wanna mention that this is a great idea even if you're doing spray foam insulation as well because spray foam like isonine is super expansive, like probably times 10 from when they spray it, it expands. I'd say more than that. Maybe more. So if it goes into any of these voids like we're filling right now, it'll just shoot out the side of the house and run down your siding and your finished paint. So either way, I would seal these voids with a type of foam that doesn't expand as much as isonine like we're using. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Here's another great place to use spray foam in a can right here, guys. 
uh, around your doors, you're always gonna shim your doors and you're gonna have a gap that needs to be insulated. Right here, you can see above this door, I've got about a half inch everywhere. Ah! And I wanted to get all the way to the back. So I'm actually gonna insert the nozzle all the way to the back and fill from the outside to the inside. Hmm. Some insulators do this, but I've not seen them go from the outside to the inside like that. They will usually just surface, which would seal it, but not as good as it could be. I mean, lots of times I've gone in behind them and actually just scraped the surface layer off only to find that they only did a surface layer just so it looked done. And there was no insulation back in around the window or the door. That's why we do a lot of things ourselves. That is, even when you hire professionals, sometimes you can do a better job yourself. I thought we were all professionals. It's dry now, that was quick. You may notice we bought several different cans here. One is for windows and doors and it has a smaller application nozzle so you can actually get in there. Well, the next thing to do is insulate this place, obviously. And then as soon as that's done, we're gonna be applying finished materials to the entire inside of the house, which is promising to be a good time. I can't wait. Sounds like fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Loctite Tight Foam, available at Lowe's or Home Depot, off the shelf. And also refer a pro or DIYer by tagging them in the comments for a chance to win a $250 gift card to Lowe's or Home Depot. See ya. Take diesel, right? Premium, please. Diesel it is. <laughs>